Okay guys, so how's she going today? So you can see as she's uh, dark out again, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Now she's pretty late too, she's about 9 o'clock at night. Got done burning some shit again. <coughs> Dying with the fumes. So anyways, I went to go see my doctor. My doctor, my new one. My new one. Okay, right. And uh, yeah, get some, we'll get some power going on in here in a minute. But so it is actually very cold out. So let me get some power on in here quick before you guys start losing your mind. You're like, it's too dark. I can't see nothing. Wait till I get the power going. Yeah, so it's only uh, nine above, and I'm actually wearing the uh, overhauls and my old boots. I'm gonna try to maybe get a new pair next year. So yes, yeah, so I went and saw the doctor, you know, for uh, the seizure, seizure pills, whatever you want to call it, bullshit, you know. And uh, freaking snow, get out of here. So, you know, I was kind of been telling her that I would like to be off them. I don't really want to be on them, you know. Not that they're expensive. It's just that, you know, they, you know, they bring a person down. They bring, well, they bring me down. So, you know, I guess I seem all right. You know, it's, you know, I just think I could have a lot more energy, you know. And I don't. I don't really have a lot of energy. <clears throat> so... But, uh, she's just telling me this bullshit story, you know, like, well, I think you should be on them, you know, there's like a 98% chance that you have another one, you know, and crap, and blah, 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 you know. I kind of really doubt that. Because how could I go five years without having one, I bang my head, then I have one. Now, if you get if you get a brain injury, brain injury like, I've obviously you've had in the past um you get one <clears throat> then you don't get them for a long time you know and then you because then if you bang your head then you get another one well see that obviously right there is kind of a you know as long as you don't bang your head i doubt that you ever get one because how did this happen then you know the, you know like a couple of months later then i had one and then i'm back on the pills again well why should I be back on them again? I don't really think there is a chance of me having another one. You know, and you don't know unless you try. You know, and the years before that I was on, I was on them for quite some time. I was on them for like five years. And my doctor was like, well, I want to try it. You know, I want to take you off and see what it is. You know, and I was actually kind of scared because I don't really want to have to go through it again. But <clears throat> he took me off them. And I've been fine ever since. Until that day I banged my head. So, I kind of just think that if I don't bang my head anymore, that nothing will happen. And she was telling me this bullshit, well, if you keep having these episodes, you know, if that's doctor talk, you know. If you keep having them, it possibly could kill you. I don't see, now the thing is that there's many different kinds of seizures, you know, you can have the smallest ones, you can have the largest ones, you know, the largest ones can literally fuck you up, but I only get mine when I'm sleeping, so I don't really see, I mean, we're not really going to ever know unless you take me off the damn pills again and we try, because literally these pills... Besides bringing me down, they fuck up my eyesight. I went to the doctor. My eyesight's apparently are fine. It's twenty twenty vision. But my eyes don't feel right. They feel funny. It's literally like when I look in a section, it's like I really can't. It's like I'm almost going blind, but I'm not. You know, it's just like it's kind of it's there, but it ain't there kind of thing, right? I don't know how to explain it because I'm still trying to figure out how to explain it. You know, but um. I don't like it. And then besides fucking up my eyes, it brings me down. It brings I'm guy I'm tired most of the day. 
uh, <clears throat> my brain hurts. Now, a lot of that could be because of the brain injury that I got, obviously. That could be, you know, sending, like, a shock wave through it, and that's just kind of, it's almost like when you pull the muscle, you just all of a sudden get it, right? Well, that's kind of what happens. So, that happens once in a while. It doesn't happen every day. So, I mean, if that's, you know, I could kind of live with that. It ain't going to really bother me, you know, because it's just like, I don't get it for a couple of days, and I'll, then I'll get it. And it just lasts for, you know, like a few seconds, and that's it. So, and she was talking about, well, do you get headaches most of the time, and crap, you know, and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. I think I only, the only way I get a headache is if I'm stressed out of something, which is usually the snow. In the summertime, I'm usually not too stressed out. It's mostly the snow. If I had a tractor with a blower, it would be fine. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't even give a fuck then, but, you know. And then the second thing I'm stressed out of, about is when I play my video games. Now, I get pretty upset when things don't go exactly my way, which they never do. So, I don't know why I bother playing, but I usually play with my friend. Just so we can chat, you know, and hang out and stuff. <clears throat> well, I kind of stopped playing the Call of Duty War Games pretty much because everyone hacks. They hack them, okay? They put cheat codes in them that I don't like. People camp in corners. I don't, like, if I'm playing Call of Duty, we'll use the shop here as an example. I'm sitting on this, this wall right here. Like, I'm going to go around the corner and shoot this guy that's coming up, coming up the stairs away or whatever, right? Okay. So I'm camping, or, the, you know, say uh, maybe I'm camping, okay? I'm camping here. I peek around the corner. I'm instantly dead, okay? Or if I'm coming up the stairs, the stairway or anything like that, he's camping behind the corner. I know he's there because I can see his arm sticking out the side, right? Okay. <clears throat> so I start firing at him to at least... Nick him in the arm. He just all of a sudden comes out of the corner. I'm dead immediately. And I got. And I got full health. So. Right there that game's bullshit. Because that's not fair in the first place. Because for one I started shooting at him first. And I actually knew he was there. Because one, it's most of the time. We have radar on. You know. Doozy it's like three kills and then you get radar. So. And it's for the whole team too. So. But uh, that was kind of one of the reasons why I quit playing Call of Duty. Now there's a Call of Duty Modern or Advanced Warfare coming out. I'm not really. I'm probably going to get it, but I'm going to wait for it to come on sale, and I'm not going to play it online. I'll play it for the campaign mode or single player mode, and that's it. I'm after that. I'm selling it. I'm selling Black or uh, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm selling that one. Um. My sister wants to test, take it for a test drive, so she took it back with her tonight. Um, her and her boyfriend want to play it. Um, and if, if she enjoys it, then she's going to buy it from me. If not, then I'm going to sell it. Right now, I'm actually on a <clears throat> on a listing or a, a group thingy for around my area. It's where people can list things that they want to get rid of, sell, trade, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like an auction online. Or it's like a garage sale online kind of thing, you know. Um, there's a guy on the North Dakota side that lives in that town that I go to grocery shop because, for one, food's cheaper there. Um, he made that website. And it's only for the people that live there. So, well, that's actually from my whole entire area, but I went and joined. And I was like, I'm going to start listing crap. And I'm trying to get, trying to remember what the one was for the cities. Because the cities are about an hour away. And if they want it bad enough, they can come and get the crap. So, I'm going to try and sell some stuff, get rid of it, whatever, you know. Um, I'm selling ghosts. I'm actually selling tons of video games. I even got some PS2 games I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Uh, maybe to someone that wants to collect them, you know. You don't want you don't you don't have to play them. I mean, they're probably still playable, but if I'm ever gonna play, I really doubt it. So, so yeah. <clears throat> so that's kind of I guess the only main reason why I kind of quit playing those games. It's just because of the bullshit. But anyways, the 
the doctor. I think you guys are going crooked here. There. Um, I got you guys on the little six inch tripod. It just seems to be more comfortable now. So, plus I can keep my fingers actually together. Uh, when I have them holding the camera, kind of something like this, and I got the finger that always freezes because it's way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so it's a little more comfortable, I guess, this way. Well, anyways, she wants to put me on a different... Now, she said that there's millions of different kinds of pills. She, she's your pills, whatever you want to call them. And I've been on a couple. And the one that I'm on now was the one that I, I was taking when I was younger. And that was the one that worked the best for me. But yeah, it still brought me down. Because I was on a different kind of pill. That one made me ap feel like absolute shit. I was literally down. I didn't want to do nothing. I literally didn't even want to get out of bed. That's how bad those, those kind of pills can really, you know, they can fuck you up. So my doctor stuck me on these, and I've been okay with them ever since, but, you know, it's a thing I don't really want to be on them. So, so she wants me to try a different kind. And she wants me to start, I got enough, I think, to last the rest of this month, but my new order is going to be coming in by mail for next month. So I think next month, she wants me to start this new kind of pill with the old pill. I take the new pill in the morning, and I take the old pill at night. And then I keep doing that until the old pills are gone, and then I'm on the new ones. It's like, I'm taking two different kind of pills, but the old one's going to eventually be gone. So, but these newer pills that she wants me to try, which I've never even heard of them. And uh, they have some kind of a headache releaser kind of thing in it. It's like, a, like you take a Tylenol, it's the same pr thing pretty much. It's to help with headaches, too. I don't really think I got I get a lot of headaches, but, you know, unless I'm stressed out or something from the day before, or I just don't get enough sleep. So, but she says that even though it works for headaches, it could also work different with, with, well, with my brain where I don't feel tired or, you know, or down or a lot. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to feel down about it. It's just, you know, it's... That's just, just what they do. They make you feel like crap. So, you know, and I don't want to really get too personal with, uh, well, I guess it's not too personal. He, he did make a video on it earlier today. and Saying then about that his doctor wants him to be on high blood pressure pills. Well, he was saying that he doesn't want to be. He absolutely does not want to be on those pills, which I do agree. My mom was, she's been on and off the high blood pressure pills all her life. And, uh, and kind of, kind of like what Matt was saying, that if you just exercise and you eat healthy and you do all this other crap, you don't need to be on high blood pressure pills. Yes and no. Yes, you can be on them, and yes, you do, and no, you don't have to be. Depending on what kind of person you are, sometimes even though you're exercising and eating healthy, it's not going to work for your blood pressure. It's just it's just what's in your person, you know. It, it's just not going to work. So you have to be on them no matter what. Unless you want to be like Matt and you just absolutely, absolutely refuse. Which I don't blame him. I know he doesn't like pills and I don't like them either. And my grandma finally got taken off her high blood pressure pills after being on them for so many years. They said that her blood pressure is about the same as a freaking teenager. So, they said, you can get, you can just get the hell off them. You don't need to be on them anymore. And the same thing with my mom. They said, well, your blood pressure seems fine. Now you don't need to be on them. Some years it's good. And other years it's, it spikes back up. And she has to be on them again. So, it's kind of like an on and off, you know, thing with her. And she is eating a lot healthier. You know, she's not really exercising. But she takes care of the house for me. And she cleans a lot. And... Does a lot of stuff with the cats and stuff, too. So that's good exercise, you know. She goes up and down the stairs a lot, too. That goes to my basement and stuff. And I swear there's not a minute going by where she's not at least going up or down the stairs. You know, she's always going up and down it somewhere. For something, anyway, you know. But she's good exercise. Uh, a stupid ass like me should probably be doing that because I'm not exactly in good shape. Even though, apparently, when I've been to the doctor before... Um... To get things done. Oh, so, you know, like if you have to have surgery for something, they want to check your lungs, your your heart rate, and crap like that and stuff. Well, I've had that done to me before, and they say that I'm pretty goddamn healthy. I don't feel healthy. 
And I could straighten out my act and not eat like a pig, but that's just what I do. <laughs> it's not exactly the best thing. I mean, I'm not super fat, but I'm fat enough that I think it makes me feel like crap too. So I could straighten myself out and not eat as much or something, you know. I literally kind of do eat a lot. But, you know, I guess it's just, I enjoy eating, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, and that's just the truth. You know, I'm not going to, you know, lie to you guys. So, it's just the way it is with me. And the same with my sister. She wants to, she's been on an exercise thing because she wants to lose weight. She's not exactly how happy with her, her weight, you know, and stuff too. So, she's been trying to exercise. She bought her a walking she bought herself a walking exercise stupid bike thing. I don't know what you call them. Uh, if you walk on it, you know, it's got like a mat on it or whatever. I forget what they're freaking called, but she bought one of those. I don't know if she's really using it a lot, but she must be. So, but you know, the, the thing is, she lives now in the cities, which is the worst thing you could do. Because everything's right there. You got McDonald's, you got KFC, you got, you know, all these other fucking places that, you know, just unbelievably unhealthy. Now, I do admit, they got good food, don't get me wrong, but you don't need to be ordering out every day. And that's what they were doing for the last couple of weeks, just because that's how lazy they were getting of not making anything. And they were, and, and they are... Her and her boyfriend are working odd hours, and they're working tons of hours, too. So, he works at night, and she works during the day. So, they don't, just don't really have time to make anything or anything like that. So, But, you know, I kind of told her that she needs to eat healthy Monday through, you know, let's, let's say, Sunday to Friday. Saturday is a day you should really kind of, you know, treat yourself a little bit. Don't go crazy on it. Don't go ordering, you know, six cheeseburgers from McDonald's or something, you know, just get one. Treat yourself for a week of work, you know. Which is probably something I should be doing, but I don't, see, I don't eat, I don't go to the cities, I don't eat a lot, so. That's just whenever I gotta go to either get something, or I gotta go see my doctor. That's about it. So, in other words, I don't really get to eat a lot of, you know, um, fast food or restaurant kind of crap, you know. So, yeah. Jeez, a cold one. Oh, boy. Thank God it's not windy. It'd be even colder. But, yeah. So, anyways, I just want to tell you guys about the freaking doctor thing, which I think is kind of a, you know, it's a lot of BS, I think. You know, there's some people that probably should be on the pills where they have one an episode all the time. You know, people, some people have them so bad that when they get up to just go get a drink of water, they immediately fall over and they have an episode, you know. I don't have that. So, I don't know. In a way, I kind of want to get off the pills, but then in a way, I kind of want to wait to spring. Because if I go off the pills now... There's a good chance in the next month or two I could have an episode and then I'm going to either break something else or I'm going to feel like crap so much that I don't want to go even go and plow snow. And I'm feeling good enough, you know, now that at least I can go out and plow snow. But I don't really feel all the best, but at least I'm going, I can, you know, I'll go do it. I have a hard time getting started. I've always had that problem. But once I get going, then I'm going to, then I'm good to go. But it's just, you know, getting started, you know. Probably because I don't want to deal with it. But someone has to. So. Yeah. So that's just. I don't know. You know you. I mean. It is your right. You know you don't have to listen to what the doctors tell you. They're just telling you. What they think is the best for you. Well. I think I'll. If these pills are better for me. Let's say. Let's just say I start feeling better with the new pills. Like, I feel amazing. Then I'm going to stay on the pills for the winter time. And then I'm going to try to go off in the spring. Because I don't want to be down in the winter time like I was last winter. Where I couldn't plow snow for a month. I literally had 10 feet of snow that I had to all of a sudden move. 
My uncle came down and he blew the driveway and the mailbox open, but that was it. He wouldn't do the trail. He wouldn't, you know, go and do the trail through the shop. You know, do the back of the house. He wouldn't do all that because he's busy snow blowing his own crap too. So, but I don't like it. I don't like snow being packed up against the house because then it goes into my basement and floods. So that's why I plow the back of the house. But uh, if these pills, these new ones now, start to really make me feel like fucking crap, I don't care. I'm sorry, doctor. I don't care what the hell you say. I'm going off. If I have another one. Another episode, then I'll just go right back onto the old ones that I had again, you know. But I don't see that happening because I didn't get one for five years. And then I banged my head and now I had another one. Now, that, 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 that doesn't mean that I'm going to have another one. It was just, it can happen if you've had them in the past and you bang your head. Because in those five, you know, why didn't I have one? Those, those in those five years, I didn't. I was literally feeling like a normal kid again, you know. And of course, with uh, um, with uh, you know, like third degree burns and nerve damage, you're always going to be uncomfortable anyway. But I've kind of I learned to live with that, and then of course, then I dislocated my knee. So my knee's kind of fucked up now, but I managed to work with that. Now I got a fucked up shoulder. I managed to live with that now. So, but I think by the time I'm 30, I'm probably every bone in my body will probably be broken, at least somewhere anyway. <laughs> just I just got damn bad luck over here at this end, but whatever. So if you guys don't ever hear from me again on YouTube, it's most likely because I'm probably dead now. <laughs> probably end up getting ran over by by the four-wheeler or the tractor or something one of these days. Or a tree will crush me. Either one. Or my house will blow up. Or the car will blow up. You know, something will always probably get me eventually anyway. So, <laughs> But, whatever. So, yeah, if you guys don't hear from me anymore, that's well, that's many of the reasons why. So, so, yeah. So, that's just the way it's going to have to be. I mean, you don't have to listen to your doctor. But every time, every, this is my third doctor now I've had. My very first doctor, he was a dick, never really liked him. Um, I was, you know, I was obviously with him for five years. And he's like, okay, well, I think you've been on these pills too long. Let's try it. You know, some people have to be on these pills for the rest of their life. But he wanted to try it and see if I could get away with not being on them anymore. And I was good for five years. And my camera is now freezing. Look at that crap. And then I banged my head, and then I had another one. And my other doctor, which was a guy, my first two doctors were, were men. And the second one, I only got to meet him once. And then he said, well, I'm moving, so it's like, thank you. So now I got me a, a girl, or a woman, whatever you want to call it. And uh, she's actually been here for quite some time because she actually goes um, closer to where I live. In that town where I go grocery shopping. She goes there now too. So so I'm going to try to make most of my appointments. For when I have to see her there. Because going to the cities is quite a long drive. And I don't really want to be going that far. Good food. But a long drive. So. We'll see how long she'll last. Seems like these stupid doctors. They work for. Like, I have them for a doctor for, like, a couple months, and then they have to move. And then I'm stuck with getting a new one. So, we'll see how long it'll last with this one. And at least she's nice, you know. She's not a jerk, like the last one was. Well, the last one was good, but the, the first one was just a complete jerk. He's like, he just had, like, no sense of humor, or, you know, being funny. Or he was just like, yeah, what do you want? What are you doing here? Just take the fucking pill and you'll be fine. You know, that's the kind of attitude he had. He just, he didn't give a damn. The, the, the last two doctors seem to have, like, I care about you attitude, you know. Which is a good thing. But, you know. <clears throat> and like I was saying, too, like, I think I kind of lost my trail of speaking here. <laughs> when you, you don't have to be on those pills. They can't make you. That's your right. You know, if you choose to not go on them, you don't have to. They just want to obviously help you, so. But, uh, 
I'll try the new pills. I'll try them out. See if they make you feel any better or what. I'll probably end up feeling more crappier. Because now there's going to be a mixture of two. So. Yeah. So then after that. I have to switch over to, to the new ones. But if they make me feel crappier. I mean I probably would get used to them eventually. Because that's, what I, because that's what's happening with these old ones. It took me a long time to get used to them again. For not being on them for five years. My system's like, oh, what's this? Hello. So I, it, it literally brought me down quite a bit. Now I'm feeling a little more alive now, so I guess my, my system's getting used to it now. But I still feel a little down. Look at that sloopy freaking leg crap going on my screen. I think it's the screen for freezing more than anything else. My battery's probably about dead in this camera, too. It didn't last very long in the last video that I made. So, yeah. If these pills make me more crappier... I'm just going to go off them. You know, I don't care what my doctor says. You know, they can't really make you be on them. They're just suggesting it. But, you know, you just have to risk it. You know, so I just don't think I have to be on them. Uh, excuse me, sorry about that. I just don't think I have to be on them. When it, it was going perfectly fine for five years... I banged my head, then I had one. That doesn't mean I'm going to have another one right after that, you know. It just happened because I banged my freaking head. My, even my first doctor said, well, if you bang your head, you're going to get it again. Because now I have brain damage, you know. So, any time that I bang my head real hard, you know, I'm fucked. And that's what happened. I banged my head pretty... You guys probably saw it in that video... Way back ago when I was running the wiring for the, the third light, I think it was. I was, I think it was actually this board here that I banged my head on. If you guys remember that, most of you newer guys won't, but a lot of the older ones will. Who's, who's ever left to watch my videos. So, I banged my head on that, I think. Because if I, had, if I would have hit my head on that ladder, that would have... Still would have hurt, but there, but there is some give to that, you know, because the, most of the weight's at that end. You know, this thing here won't even, this won't move at all. It's, it's been nailed to the to the framing, so it's not going to move. So, yeah, that would have hurt my head, and it did, and I was in, I was in pain for that day. But it doesn't mean that it's going to happen again. I don't think it's it would. But they don't seem to believe me, and stuffs which you know I understand too you're looking out for your patients you know I do understand that you know but you know at least let me try it again you know if I have another one I, I can just go right back on the pills again but I really kind of doubt that I would because how could I go five years five years without having one and then I bang my head Two months later, I have one. Okay? So, as long as I don't freaking bang my head again, I should be fine. But, knowing my luck, if I bang my head again, and then I'll be fucked. You know? So, yeah, I do apologize for a 30 minute video, but it's probably about the end of this now because I'm freezing. It helps that I put the overhauls on this time. <laughs> so, yeah, tomorrow will be. B, 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 what's the words I'm looking for? Help me here, YouTube. Well, you guys won't see it to Monday, but it would be the cold start to the John Deere. I have not had that thing running, I swear, in like two weeks now. And no, I still did not put any damn stabilizer in it. I th I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to put it in. I it, it mean, it'll still start, even with it mixed in there with it, so. Because I don't think the fuel would really gel up. And it's not supposed to. Diesel fuel is supposed to gel up. But. So, yeah. So, tomorrow that's going to happen. While well, this one's uploading. And, uh. We'll crank the bitch over. Add some stabilizer. And then, after that, I'll be waiting for my, uh. Sticker and my tenders to show up. Whenever the hell they decide to show up. So, yeah. So anyways guys, I guess I'll probably take off, depart for a long video, but I uh, just have to kind of tell you guys that. 
story. So, and, uh, Ooh, noise levels. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, just another quick thing here for Matt. Uh, he was talking about the pills. Um, that he, he doesn't want to be on them, right, and stuff. So, and you know what? I actually do agree with, with him. He doesn't want to be on his high blood pressure pills, and I don't want to be on mine. You shouldn't have to be on them unless you absolutely have to be on them, you know. So... I don't care really what my doctor said, you know, but she wanted to try these new kind of pills. I don't know if they're exactly new, new, but I guess they've been out for a wee while, but. I don't know. We'll try them, see what happens. If I feel crappier, I guess I'm going off for a while anyway. So. Yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off these parts for a long video. I know my camera's probably not going to survive too much longer. I can usually get like 30 minutes out of a full battery. It's that's how so damn cold it is out here. And that will put this bitch back on the charger, and then uh, upload this video for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Then you guys will be seeing Saturday's video on Monday. I was thinking Sunday, but Sunday I don't really upload much. Look at that. Cra you guys probably can't see that, but that freaking bullshit. When it gets really cold, holy crap, does my screen ever lag? I don't know if the thing's frozen or not. Let's find out. Is my thing frozen? No, it's not frozen. I guess it's not cold enough yet for that, but it will be pretty soon. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.